What's up dudes? Welcome back. Check it out. Today we gotta make some room in the garage. I'm cleaning up the shop setup time. So I gotta get this motor off the floor because it's in my way. So this is the motor and transmission setup. Currently what's going to be used in the El Camino. And I want to get it up off the ground so I got some metal here. Look at this stuff. Ooh. I'm going to sort of try to make some sort of engine stand setup deal where I can work on the motor all together on the transmission and stuff. It'll be about waist height, make it a little easier and more comfortable, and then be able to roll it around. So let's get chopping up some metal. It's not a game, it's a I'm sure you've been watching long enough that you know what grinding and cutting stuff up with a grinder looks like. I don't have to show you that. Here's some of the pieces I'm using. I just cut a bunch of angle iron up. But this here is gonna be the main structure of the cradle. Let's put it there like that. Like it to sit. Front here, it's gonna be about 18 inches wide so it's not wider than the motor. That way you can get real close to it with your feet and stuff and it's still wide enough to be steady. So what I wanna do here, is just take a quick marking for where the motor mounts would be. Just line it up by eye, just so I can clean the metal off real good. And then we'll put the other one back much further because that gives us wider room than these mounts that are really badly done. Please ignore. But I want it a bit wider than that because I do believe in old school engine, the mounts are further back. So we'll make the cradle to accommodate all of that. So we'll put a couple lines here. Same thing with the trans mount, this one, Right there so we'll put a line here but if we do a longer trans throw a line back there it gives us an idea I'll use a piece of this angle iron in the middle where the motor mounts would be another one near the back where the transmission mounts would be I'll have to square these off this end I'll just butt weld this together I'll put another block like this in the back to get the same size same width making everything look good and cool and that will be the bottom of the carriage the cradle the whatever you want to call it the motor stands here's everything cut sort of to length this piece is just leftover extra piece but this piece is going to be mounted to the back these these are nice and channeled give me some strength give me some mounting points we're going to butt weld those we're going to go for it and boom frames all welded up Still nasty, crusty, and dirty, but we're gonna clean that all up. Now, the height of this is one and a half. It's also the piece I'm gonna use on the top part where we raise it. Gonna use maybe some piping as the raised part. As it sits now, the motor mount is nine inches off the floor. So with these wheels that I got, pretty cool looking, right? Check them out. Woo! Rated for a lot of weight. Those are six inches. That makes nine. That's nine. Just gonna stack this thing up and build it. I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but I'll montage it, all the pieces together, and show you what I mean. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror, if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. I'm a mortal When I feel like this 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 I'm a mortal
You will never see me crack And if you get in my way, you're gonna feel the wrath Gotta say it to my face while he's looking back Mirror breaks after math when I hate, I attack And this is where we're at. Hey, why do you gotta talk when I'm trying to talk? This is where we're at right now. What? You want me to start a show? Here, do something cool. Show the people. Hmm. Alright. So this is where we're at. Got these bars in there for a little extra strength and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. It doesn't look right. It's a little off-centered, but they're welded up. It's just, I'm doing this real super rough because I don't want to spend a lot of time doing little details. I just want to get it done, cleaned up the shop so we can work on this. Anyways, moving forward. So the uprights are done. This front part will be for the motor. I'm going to use these pieces, move back and forth. That way I can build brackets off of pieces like this for any other kind of motor. So for this one, because the mounting points are a little further out, i got something stuck in my foot. Yeah. So for this one, as I was saying, these are 18 inches across. The motor mounts that are on that engine right there are a little bigger. You can see them here on the El Camino. One on this side, one on that side. I also have a possible mounting point up here, which I might work on a little later, get some ideas. But for now, the idea behind this, I wanna be able to slide them back and forth. And because this isn't as wide as the motor setup, I'm gonna put another one on the bottom here, build the bar up, that way, it kind of locks into place, drill a hole through the top where there's nothing welded and make that the spot where it locks down. And the idea behind this is that if I do it like that with multiple points where I can slide it, I can move it, I can adjust it, I can make different brackets and I can use this cradle deal that I'm building for pretty much any engine setup as long as it's got that kind of layout with the transmission behind the engine. It won't work for a front wheel drive car, but probably all wheel drives and this one or some of the CBs. You know what I'm saying? Be able to put different engines on it so it won't be just a bunch of metal wasted on one only. All right. <laughs> oh, so So the next thing I'll be doing is making brackets to go across top of this and the top of this one. I've got to cut out some more angle iron. Fortunately, fortunately, like I said, this is a big recycling project. This is like super budget. So I found some scrap metal in the back that was used for something else. I'm assuming it was some sort of trailer. I don't know what exactly. Are you okay? You found it, huh? You swallow a chunk of wood? This is very, very much a budget build, kind of doing it as cheap as I can. So far, it's cost me zero because it's all old recycled metal from old things that I found out scrapyard style. Still going to keep going with that. It's not going to be the prettiest, but I'm going to paint it. should look pretty good. I'm just, now I'm going to start cutting everything else up and get on that. So first part I'm going to put together is a trans mount. So I've got these two pieces going together. And cut them on an angle, make it look kind of cool. It's stacked up. It's going to give me a little bit of height off of the mainframe of the cradle lift it up a bit when it's time i'll put the holes into the top here so i could drop in bolts but that'll just be when everything's lined up and fitting right so i'm going to start with the transmission part i'll put that on and you see how it functions how it works now i'll move ahead and do the uh the part for the engine which will be a lot trickier and i'm running out of material and my dog's still being a pain in the butt and we're gonna see what we can do yeah So, this is the trans mount piece. It's gonna fit right in here. Gives you kind of an idea how it's gonna sit. Throw some holes up here. Fits the transmission. And then it does sort of slide. <laughs> but it's movable, so I can figure out good distances. 
now we have to figure out something for the front. So what I'm thinking here is these front pieces, front angle irons, they're gonna sit on the inside like so. That way any kind of stress pulling out this way, it'll hold it. Then the inside piece here, probably pushing down and in. So I'll put the plate like that. It'll be large enough that I can easily put a hole in it, drill a hole, drop a bolt through top and bottom. It should work. So now it's gonna get some wheels and test fit. Alright, so there it is, standing up on its own. The motor mounts aren't done. I just have this piece sitting on the pan right now, but it's actually very solid. It's enough that I can wheel it, wheel it around. So before I take it apart to, well, I have to make motor mounts for the front. What? Why is it always when I'm talking you got a squawk? Huh? Punk? What are you doing? Nah. Let's go through this chunk of wood all the time. Okay, back to business. So, like I was explaining before, gotta make some mounts that add up to here. These are for the El Camino. I'm gonna have a L piece like that on the inside, which will stop it from moving this way. And then on the bottom half, we could turn that around because it's probably gonna push in. So, ta-da. So now I gotta get make custom stuff and then try to make it fit. Oh, look who's back. Okay, so two things. Number one, I tried to knock that off the stand. Tried to wiggle it. It's on there pretty good, actually. You can tip it off, but I don't think it's ever gonna be a situation that you would tip it off, cleaning it up, or doing little things. Maybe if you're really torquing a bolt, going crazy, that might happen. And the other cool thing, the other thing right now in this video is that now that that's on wheels and I can finally move it around, it was sitting right here. Behind the sheet metal is my heater. <laughs> so it's springtime now, summertime, whatever. Don't need the heat. But I could put the drill press and everything in front. Basically what I'm getting to, hi, you're back. Is that now that I can move the engine, I can clean up this whole wall and organize stuff how I had in mind initially. And I got something going up on here too. So let's see what happens. What do you think, Jimmy? Motor's on a mobile stand. Dog still non-stop. <laughs> Done. Huh? And everything is nice and clean. Well, except for the rest of the place. <laughs> <laughs> 